Okay, 2146, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score. 3,000 games for our opponent, that's very, very good. Um, I'm just debating whether to do the Sicilian this time, but I'll just stick to the Caro. I'm going to throw some more Sicilians in now and again, just for some variety sake. Um, I think Bishop up's fine here. Knight up as well, and Pawn up. We're just trying to castle, that's all we're looking for. Bishop up is probably technically correct, but there's the annoying Bishop down, of course. So it's castle. Okay, no need to play it too quick. There is 10 minutes each. Um, where do we want to go? See, that's natural. That's logical as well. But I can drop the knight back this way, so we'll go there. Okay. He wants to actually move this knight. Do a trade. I'm just going to attack the bishop first. Hmm. Let's play a rook across, threatening knight up. All relatively standard, this. And sooner or later we might make a mistake somewhere, but that's just chess. Okay, I think I kind of need to trade there. I don't want to come back and end up doing this, so I'm just going to trade the bishop. Try and gain space and maybe push on this way. Okay, he's gone across, so that's not going to happen now. Hmm. I'm just going to drop the knight back. <clears throat> he could go back and I can go here. If he takes, I've got an option of queen or knight. I'm not sure which is the best. The knight's not really doing a lot here now, unless you do something like this, but then it's not easy anywhere. So is it worth bringing the knight across? But where am I going to go if I do that? There's not really anywhere to go, as I saw. Let's just go with the queen, but we'll have to move the queen. We don't want the queen on this file. You know, we could easily blunder this pawn, so we probably want to move the queen across. I'm not sure where yet, but you can imagine the white rook's getting centralised, so... Could be a problem. That's probably a very good move as well. Very good. Mm, it is, isn't it? We might have to take there, I think. I'm going to take and push, and we're probably going to sack um, the knight for bishop. We'll lose a pawn in the process, but but we might get rid of the bishop. <clears throat> so what I'll expect is I'll push on. We'll get a move like bishop down, and we'll lose our pawn. Oh, he just takes that one. That I didn't expect. Okay. So let's just shuffle the rook then. So we're going to lose this pawn at least temporarily, maybe permanently. So how do I deal with this? I want to play a knight up and try and deal with this knight. If you come in, I'll just trade. I don't really want the knight here. I'm just trying to get rid of that knight. Then I'd like to swap these two off and say, OK, he's got this pawn, but without the bishop's support. If you get the pawn down, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? We could be already lost, of course. We might have just messed up here. So do we take a risk and push? But I guess you've just got Bishop back anywhere there. Yeah, so this game might have already gone, but let's just see. It's just chess. If it's gone, it's gone. As long as your opponent's playing fairly, that's all I care about. What do we do? What do we do? Let's get the cursor off the board so there's no accidental slips. It does happen. Yeah, Rook up. So he's going to try and simplify. Now he's up material. <clears throat> I'm wondering whether I can play a silly move like Rook up here just to stop the pawn push. Say Rook right up. There's no Bishop here. There is maybe Bishop here and I might get the Rook trapped. So I'd, Rook across wouldn't be a move. The Knight's misplaced in it. So what do I do? If I do this, you've just got the simple bishop here attacking the knight. Um, I think I need to redeploy the knight, but I'm not sure where. Like here? Or here and here, yeah. I'm going to go here and maybe here. Just try and create some sort of kingside threats, even if it's not really anything. I don't think the knight's doing anything here. It's just a target. When these pawns start running, we'll have to try and get across somehow, if it's possible. might not be possible, but... Knight g6 is a very natural square for the knight. I guess you've got bishop back. Yeah, that's what he's gone for. So is he happy to trade anywhere? And if so, does it make a difference? I like the g6 square, I think. Mm. But he's up the clean pawn, which you can just protect. So it's common sense for white to do that. We have to try and put pressure on to stop the pawns advancing and hopefully get the queen round the back at some point in time. It might never happen, but let's see. Hmm. 
But if you get some sort of triple stack on this fall, then you can force the rooks off. And it's probably not going to be too good for us, but let's see what why it does. Just click anywhere to clear your markings there. Mm. Not easy, not easy. <coughs> mm. If I move a rook forward anywhere, you can simply come along and pin the the back rook here. So he's pushing forward, but that actually might be really good for us because we're simply splitting the pawns. We can't allow this move, so I don't think I need to even consider that too long. But I can't infiltrate with my queen anytime soon. Maybe here then to deal with this and try and come across as something. Hmm. I'm just going to play queen up. If you come here then I'll maybe go forward. Otherwise I'm just trying to centralise. But now the pawns are split in theory. They're a little bit easier to deal with. But it's still an extra pawn for white. So if you're up a pawn you can give a pawn back and you're not any worse. <clears throat> So yeah, playing the clock as well as the position might be my best bet here because I'm down material. But queen across is logical just to put pressure on the pawn, try and activate the other rook. But obviously as soon as I move it, there's a target. Hmm. But what do we do? Oh, he's launching one immediately. Okay, well, that I didn't expect. So does that give us queen across? What about rook down? So what about rook up instead? Yeah, what about rook up instead, and then rook behind? I quite like the look of that, I think. I'm just looking at the simple rook up to stop this and to stop the push in one move. If you play this rook, I take the pawn, right? You've probably got ways to double up, but... So rook across, rook across, check. Just king out the way. It might not be that great for me, but... Hmm. And that might be an alternative, then. What you're going to do, if you come forward, I don't like the idea of leaving that, so I'm going to go here, but I think rook up, something like this might be a problem, so maybe I'm best to try and challenge here, but it might allow a pass pawn. Mm, it's difficult whatever I do, isn't it? So I've just got to try and play that bit quicker than my opponent and hope there's a mistake somewhere. If I can't do it, I can't do it, that's fair enough. Boy, he has gone for the rook down. Have I just completely missed that? I have. I just completely missed it. He connected his pawn again. Why did I not see that? Why did I forget that? I have to take. I just completely forgot he could do that. I'd seen it then completely forgot. Because now I have to come across. Yeah, it's over now. Now he's connected his pawns. The game's effectively over. There's very little chance he's going to mess this up now. Oh, what a silly, silly move that was. That was a, just a losing move. With simple, correct play now, it should be over. It should be. Yeah, queen there and just march forward. So what on earth do we do? I might be best just to try and counter-attack, say, rook back. Queen across. Let's just come over first so we cover the back rank. Then I'm looking at maybe something like this, but I don't see how we get in. But if the rook comes forward, we get a back rank threat. Otherwise, maybe queen behind. I guess you can just play rook behind. Mm, I can't really stop these now. I've just messed up here, so it is what it is. He's gone for the same thing in effect. So maybe here, you can probably just ignore it, can't you? Takes. You might even be able to just simply ignore that. Yeah, you can. Take, take. I think you can actually ignore that completely. I think you can. But I just don't have any other moves. I'm going to go, go here, but I've already given up on this game. I'll just get the game over with and play another one. This one is just going to be a write-off. I think he can actually ignore takes, even push again. Takes, takes. It's whether I can check and check and get back behind it. I don't see how I can. Yeah, that's exactly what he's done. He's seen it. So take, you just ignore it and push. Take, rook takes. So even with a check in the corner, king up, check. I can't actually get behind my pawn. You just simply block and it's finished, isn't it? So 
Hmm. It's just finished. Yeah, I can't be bothered with that game. I'll just play another one. Let's see what the engine says anyway, but I'll just play another game instead. This game's no use to us. 31 moves, so they're the move times. Very quick for my opponent out of the opening, actually. Played it exceptionally well, and we just made that mistake. Yeah, opponents just played really a near perfect game there. Just one slight mistake, it says. So it's 85% versus 95% accuracy. CPL 12 against 27. So my opponent's mistake is what? The move C4. So what's wrong with C4? I'd allow it just to split the pawns in the back level then. Then I've made that shocking blunder with Rook up. Yeah, just play the other Rook across and it's still level. So it's just a one move blunder and it's just game over. There's nothing else I can do there. So that sums it up, but well done to opponent.